Hello guys, we're back back in the truck. I just want to go over the Bible the Bible verses that we which I learned this past Sunday at church by a preacher who was talking to us. Um I think it was in Mark 8, I think it was. Let me make sure. Yes, it is. Uh, it's talking about Jesus feeds the 4,000. There in those days, another large crowd gathered. Since they had nothing to eat, Jesus called his disciples to help and said, I have compassion for those. They have already been with me three days and have nothing to eat. If I send them home hungry, they will collapse on the way because some of them have come a long way. His disciples answered, But where in this remote place can anyone get enough bread to feed them? How many loaves of bread do we have? Jesus asked. Seven. We don't have seven, they replied. He told them the crowds to sit down on the ground when he had taken the, the, the seven loaves and give thanks. He broke them and gave them to his disciples and, and spread them out to all the people and they did so. They had a few small fish as well. He uh, he gave thanks for them also and told the disciples to to spread them out. The people ate and were satisfied. Afterwards, the disciples picked up the seven basket full of broken pieces that was left over. About 4,000 were present. After he had sent them away, he got into the boat with the disciples and went to the region of the, I don't know how you pronounce that word, but I'll put it in there. The, the Pharisees came and began to question Jesus, to test him. They asked him for a sign for heaven. He sighed deeply and said, why does this generation ask for a sign? Truly, I tell you, no sign will be given to it. And then he left him and got back into the boat and crossed to the other side. That's where the problem is, guys. Quit questioning God to give you a blessing or a, not blessing, I mean a sign. If you, if you trust him, trust him. If you don't trust him, you have to follow, you have to have faith. If you don't have faith, uh, that's what the preacher was talking about. Faith is the biggest thing if you want to trust in God. If you have faith, you trust God. So just remember that, guys. Have faith and trust will follow behind it. Trust in God everything you do and have faith. That's all I got to say, guys.